agenda. It is resolution R2019-1772 to Vercher and Withers. This adopts a new pay plan for employees of the Metro Board of Health, effective July 1, 2019. There is a proposed amendment, and I believe it goes with a substitute budget uh, sponsored by Council Member Glover. So um, we could take up the amendment first. What's the amendment? The amendment would increase the salary from 3% to 6%, the salary increase that is uh, proposed within the budget. And substitute. the reason he did it was in the, in the um, event that his 10% tax or 10 cent tax in, was passed, mm -hmm. then that would have funded 6%, so he had to go back and right. amend the pay plan in order for that to happen. Correct. And um, oh. in budget and finance yesterday, it failed. It failed, yeah. I think it failed. Well, I think the substitute failed one ten. Yes, so the substitute okay. failed and the amendment failed. Okay. So, well, first, I'll, I will put forth the amendment if there's a second. Is there a second? Okay, second. Okay. Um, any further discussion? Okay. All in favor of the amendment say aye. All opposed? No. 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 Okay. No. The amendment is not recommended. And then we do have a letter to approve the pay plan as it is before us. So I will move. I have, well, I guess we've moved. I'll move the resolution. Yeah. <laughs> second. <laughs> All right. And then any discussion on the resolution? All right. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any against? All right. Recommend for approval. And that is the conclusion well, of hold on. Health Hospital Social Don't Services. We have Do we have yours? any presentations or anything? No, we've got one more um, because I signed on to it yesterday, actually Ooh. just a few minutes ago. Let me go find yeah, Austin. Yeah, yeah, please do. Because, and I don't mean to tell you how to run your meeting. Oh, no, do it, do it, do it. I'm trying to see if it accidentally got attached into it. Rules and confirmation. All right, we'll take a brief pause. What was the resolution? And the M. Um, have a copy here, actually. It's in the file. It is for oh, my oh. HMIS, the Homeless Management Information oh. System. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Lead. That's kind of important. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's just so we can pay people and keep them, actually. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it, it really is, we went through that before, and this is kind of the, because of the timing change uh, in, in fall, we could not apply for this grant, so we worked with MDHA, they applied on our behalf for it. Now we have to transfer it once more. Oh. When it comes up for uh, next year, we can apply for it directly, because oh, now we're officially the HMS. The money's sitting there, but you have to apply in order to get it. Yeah. I understand that. For just a minute, see if we've got. Hmm. It's funny, my I had a thing going on with my eye, and I was reading this and instead of auditorium. I thought it said aquarium. <laughs> I thought we have an aquarium. Aquarium condition. There's something we haven't done yet. There's something we haven't done yet. Yeah. Oh, it's an amazing and It's like a Atlanta. reason to go to Chattanooga. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the Atlanta. The Chicago shed is amazing. I haven't been to the Chicago It's like, that's a whole day. It's right on the water. It's nice. I mean, you know, Gatlinburg can have an aquarium. Seems like we would have some but place for one. They actually just got it paved over to us two weeks ago. I wonder, are the aquariums in the cities, are they um, from the city? Are they, like our well, the Chattanooga are one is, the Chattanooga is, I think, run, this is a non-profit, but like, the, like a Ripley's Aquarium yeah. is like a for-profit yeah. business. But the director has it now. Yeah. Is that by the city? It's a non-profit. Okay. Um, it runs its, its own foundation. The late file resolution we're trying to get. It's supported it's by the city, there. but it's no. not owned by the city. She was she provided us with them. Yeah, so if she comes back, we can probably. Police and have it on our. So I can I can blame her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so no. Not anywhere. I feel like. Who's 
Do y'all know who the sponsor is? Is it Councilman? I know Councilman yeah. O'Connell, I think, was. Councilman Lady Meaner said she signed on. Gotcha. She's here. She actually she went to the right. Yeah, she's trying to find Austin and see if we can get this properly before us. I haven't seen Austin. Russell said he was coming back from Ireland. I called him yesterday. I didn't know he was out of town. I called him and didn't went to voicemail and left a message. I thought you were going to say you got right back bills. a few minutes later. And I said, "What are you doing?" He said, "I'm having dinner." I'm thinking, "Okay, he's one of these guys that calls lunch dinner, right?" About <laughs> twelve thirty. He said, "Yeah, I'm in a pub in Ireland having dinner." <laughs> you were kidding. You're really having dinner. <laughs> he called me back. Oh, that's that's a dedication right there. That is dedication. Yes. I think we still need that. We need to move it. Um, so we have a late file resolution that was not placed on our sheet. Is that the management that. system, homeless management it system? Is. Okay. I'll tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and read the late file resolution. It doesn't have a bill number, but it's. R 2019. It's a resolution approving an assignment and assumption grant agreement amendment of the Homeless Management Information System grant between the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development and the Metropolitan Development and Housing Agency to the Metropolitan Government of Nashville and Davidson County, acting by and through the Metropolitan Social Services Department and Homelessness Commission to contribute to the national effort to end homelessness. So, do I have a motion? So moved. Um, second. Second. Yeah. Go forth more. and explain, please. <laughs> so, this is the HMIS lead grant application. MDHA usually receives it. We're transferring responsibility over to HID. Next year, they'll be able to apply directly to HUD. It took a little longer. We had to we apply for approval from HUD to transfer it in January. Just heard back from them two weeks ago, so that's the delay in getting filed as a late file resolution. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Okay. okay. Definitely support it. Definitely yeah. admit with uh, Judith maybe a year or two ago, and she talked about how important it was. Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 Yeah, kind of pulling all, pulling all the resources together. And uh, we've gotten actually a lot of attention since I, for me. Yeah. Uh, it, I'm really excited about that. We, we just did a survey with uh, community uh, providers that use HMS and also people uh, of uh, provider agencies that could use it and should, and that we're trying to work with in the future. And um, they are really in support of uh, building it out and uh, for data sharing purposes. Yeah. So that people can actually, the point is not just to collect data, it's really to be more efficient in how, how we as a community uh, um, help people. Definitely. So mm -hmm. I'm excited about the excitement actually in the community that we created with, with the whole HMS mm -hmm. change and all of that. Can I ask a, it's, uh, I ask a question? It's not necessarily, I don't believe, related to this, but funding ends up being related to everything. Um, have you communicated perhaps about the idea of adding an option on the Hub, Hub Nashville, um, to report um, people in need or homelessness so that people feel like that there's a central place that they can go to and not to complain but to report about someone who might need help. Um, how do I, you know, have you thought about seeing whether or not that could be an item on the Hub? We have early on, before we actually be when we started talking about uh, homeless management information system, mm -hmm. if it makes even sense for mentor to be uh, putting our head in there. Yeah. Uh, uh, we had Eric Williams yes. also have early, early conversations. I don't think we are at the place yet where we are You're ready? getting there, but we do get all the um, outdoor, especially outdoor street homelessness complaints. They all are funneled through us. Okay. We get them from... Um, well, first of all, thank you so much. Everybody who sends them to the director from the council. Sure. We get them through the hub. We get them from police officers, even also sure. through the hub. So the collaboration around um, metro departments that has to mm -hmm. very, very much uh, be improved, thanks to the hub and thanks to how we, yeah. we just have pulled people together around street homelessness. And the first approach is always linkage to good. Mm -hmm. trying to link people to services. That's good. I think that more and more, and more as, as citizens, realize that the hub is a central source, that it's not only just a place where you can report things, but also to learn about things, right? So that educational base, when someone is uh, goes through that situation or go, calls 311 and says, says there's some homeless people living behind the whatever, 
that they are actually redirected to educational information. It's like this is what the city does. This is how this is how we respond to that. Um, and um, loving people into housing instead of. Um, can you do a quick plug on communication? And, and so we have on actually Thursday, we do a first uh, symposium on homelessness. It's a half day event. Um, if you can join at 8 30 at uh, Avon Williams TSU campus uh, for about at least, um, it's a half day event, but just the first 90 minutes to talk about. Um, uh, strategic planning that we're in the process of to talk about how the community can, can work together. I had included um, the Metro Council in an early send out, so all of you should have received all the details. If you want to, after all this traffic in our inboxes, if you would like to resend that on Wednesday, yeah. then, it, then it might actually be seen. <laughs> Just a hint. Yeah. <laughs> um, great discussion. Any further discussion from the committee? Yeah. All right, ready to take a vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any against? All right, we recommend for approval. All right, any other business before the committee? Councilman Davis. All right, for those of you who weren't in planning and zoning, um, got a late file on first reading. Um, it, as the, as the um, Jameson and the, our new staff explained, um, it was a staff error. It was submitted on time, but mm -hmm. a lot of work. Right. So I'd like to get the committee's permission to put it on for first reading. So you're coming before the rules commission yeah. committee, correct? Okay, this is health and hospitals, mm -hmm. but you're you're early. They'll be here any minute. So um, <laughs> without any further business, I believe uh, the health hospitals association committee will stand adjourned. Thank you. Thank you.